These three tools are used to measure liquid volume. Volume is the amount of space that matter takes up. These two plastic ones that are shorter are called beakers. They're shorter, they're fatter, they have bigger mouths or opening. This taller, skinnier one is known as a graduated cylinder. Scientists prefer to measure fluid volume using a graduated cylinder because it is more accurate. There are more lines, they're closer together, so it's a more accurate measurement than using a beaker. Let's take a closer look at the graduated cylinder. This graduated cylinder is measured in milliliters. If you look up here at the top, you can see that it says it's measured in milliliters right here. Again, most tools will have the unit listed on them. So each little line indicates how many milliliters this graduated cylinder can hold. They're also known as graduations. There are some that are marked with numbers on them and some that are unmarked. So sometimes we have to figure out how much each line is worth. Sometimes they're worth two, sometimes they're worth one milliliter. Usually the graduated cylinder will tell you on it at the top, but if it doesn't, you may have to figure it out. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we look at what the two numbers are that are closest together. Here we've got a 10 milliliter and a 20 milliliter marking. That means between these two lines is 10 milliliters because 20 minus 10 is 10. So there's a difference of 10 in there. That space holds 10 milliliters of liquid. But that doesn't tell me what each of these little lines is worth. So after we figure out that there's 10 milliliters in that space, we count up the little lines in between. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't forget the last one, which is 10. So there are 10 lines in that space. So the next step is to say for every 10 lines divided by or over 10 milliliters. That means each line is worth one milliliter. So this line right above the 10 is 11, 12 milliliters, 13 milliliters, 14 milliliters, 15 milliliters. Like I said, not every graduated cylinder is the same. You can see these two are both graduated cylinders because they have the same shape, but this one is significantly smaller. This one only goes up to 10, whereas this larger one goes up to 50. So this little one is actually even more accurate than this big one. But we have to figure out what the lines are worth. So let's take a look and see if we can do the same thing. This lower line is marked two, and this one is marked four. That means there's a difference of two milliliters in this space. The next step is to count the lines again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lines for two milliliters. So we put the two milliliters on top, divided by ten lines, so that each line is worth 0 0.2 milliliters. That means this little line is 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, 3 milliliters, 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, 3.8, 4 milliliters. It counts by 0.2. You'll also notice that up here it says it as well. It's a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and each line is worth 0.2 milliliters. So those are the parts of a graduated cylinder. Check out the next video to see how to actually use a graduated cylinder to measure fluid volume.